got it. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. This is episode 10 of uh, Trials Talk Vlog. Thanks to everybody who's subscribed so far. We'd still really like a few more um, little subscribers there. Um, but, you know, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to give an insight into these young guys, um, what they do, what they have to do, what they need to do, how much they practice, all that. They have an insight into how they um, how they do their thing. And that's what we're trying to put forward and hopefully people like to watch it so far feedback's been good so as you can see we've been joined very very um excited to have these guys on we've got the the hemos team hemo dan harry and george welcome along guys thank you Russ. thanks for having, thanks for having us yeah. yeah yeah so we'll get straight into it then so um we just had a wee chat before there um and you're well dan's second generation obviously you're two then third generation um what was, I mean, it was probably going to be very difficult for them not to be trials riders. <laughs> um, was there, I mean, obviously, what did you do? Just just buy them a bike and let them tear away or what was it? Well, I, I, obviously, when we first started, Ben and I, we rode forever uh, trials. Then we went to Extreme Enduro. Harry and George were only very small when we were doing that. Uh, and Emma actually was the driving force behind really their their trial success to start with really they, you know Emma took them to most of the Osset Cups British Championships um her and my parents my mum and dad Janet and John um while Ben and I were still trying to win extreme enduro in in Europe um but the more we were doing that the more I was getting broken um and then sort of towards the end of 14 15 um, and they were ra- having really good results. They were, you know, they won a couple of uh, British Championships with them and stuff like that. I think the decision was really almost made for me when um, I broke my leg in Erzberg and then broke my foot in Romaniacs. And we just said, Do you know what, it's their turn now. I've had, I've done, you know, 2015, we've done 25 years of professional trials and enduro. Uh, and we concentrated on on Harry and George, and it was, to be quite honest, the best thing we ever did. Um, I think trials was a natural progression, even though they showed a lot of interest in mountain biking, and I mean a lot of interest in, in mountain biking, yeah. and still still love mountain bikes. Just that trials, you know, like they used to come to Scotland and watch Ben and I up in Scotland, and followed that avidly and loved that, um, and we were lucky enough that. I think they wanted to ride trials um, because they could have gone down a different route and we could have taken them down a different route. But my my passion and my love is solely trials. So you know that's that's the that was the the, the dream outcome was for them to ride trials. Yeah, and as you say, so again, I mean, I think I I think we touched on this when I was um, <laughs> had Jack Dance on. He was sort of probably one of the first of the generation that started on electric bikes, and obviously. Um, your guys yeah. followed suit there. Um, yeah. So through the through the, ju- I just want to do a quick sort of recap, and then we'll cover sort of the last couple of seasons because it's really the last couple of seasons where they've obviously had the most success on a British and a world stage. So, um, so you say British British championships um, came up through the ranks, probably won most things on the way. To be fair, I had really good battles with you. you had really good battles yeah, with Harry Turner, didn't you? Yeah. So- yeah, and, uh, Jack. Yeah, uh, there was even Jamie in a couple of points. Yeah, and and, yeah. and likewise with you, you know, Jasper Fox, Jasper Fox and Yassics. and the, the shepherds and, yeah. and all that lot. Um, but th- there was a really good group of kids at that time, and I'm not saying there isn't now, but you know, week in week out, you know, that there would there would there was a different sort of winner, and it was diff. It was a it was a really good you know they, these lads like Jack Dance and. Harry Turner and Harry and, and George Harry Berry, and right? Harry Boyer and, yeah. and Jasper Fox and all that, they, they, they pushed each other. And, and both the Brightmoors as well, you know, Mitch and Ash, they were fantastic young riders as well. They put, they just pushed each other every weekend, didn't they? You yeah. Know, they were, yeah, no, it was, it was good. And, and, and I think that really excelled, you know, the, the, yeah. the riding between this group of talent that's coming through now and, and, and there is a really good group of talent i probably missed people out and i apologize but there is a really good group of people kids coming into the rat into the into the adults now and i think yeah. it was due to the gossip 
and the British Championships that you know that's why they that's why they've come up so good. Yeah, I mean, there's no substitute for a bit of a bit of peer pressure, um, you know, and then everybody oh. starts everybody starts e- e- egging everybody on. You know, somebody rides a bit of a bigger step, then oh, you got to go bigger again, and that's how it, yeah, that's how it all falls into place, isn't it? Um, yeah. so through up to sort of youth A, then Harry George. You guys have won. What What did you win on the way up there? What 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 was the? Uh, yeah. Uh, so my first title, uh, British Championship, was D class in fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty fourteen was the first time I've won. Yeah, Frank Stevenson. Was yeah, battling with Henry Stevenson. Good mate of mine, Henry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I won that first. That was the first one, which I'll have been. Eight, I think. Uh, yeah, eight at the time. So, um, yeah, I won that then. And then the next one, oh, 16, class. C class. Yeah, I won in 16, C class. And then 18, C class, big wheel. And then the one after that was because I never rode. I never rode. I rode B class a year and Harry Turner won. Um, and I never rode A. Uh, I always went, I went from B to um yeah yeah so i never rode an a class youth um, and i still haven't and then and likewise you wasn't it yeah i think it was pretty similar to similar. be fair yeah. um yeah. i probably can't remember that as well as harry has to be fair but <laughs> i think it was around not that long ago C- yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. C-, c class and then c class big wheel yeah, and then B class as well. Or small wheel, or, yeah, a D class, yeah. small wheel. Yeah, and then George did the same. We sort of Asked. we saw what Brian Higgins was doing. To be quite honest with you, with the British Championship, and uh, yeah, I can only sort of praise Brian for what he has brought. The, you know, I think he's made a cracking job of the British Championship, and and you know, Absolutely. and so we saw that, and it was twenty twenty, wasn't it? Pan- yeah, pan- yeah, pan- yeah. and I decided that. Well, Brian had badgered us a bit. He's seen us at a, 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 bit, a youth trial and said, come on, Danny, are you going to come back? And, and I went, oh, come on, I haven't been in the British Championship for 15 years. And he went, come and do the experts and come with Harry. Get Harry on the 1-2-5. I'm going to do this 1-2-5 class. And do you know what? It was the best thing that ever happened. Yeah. And, and, and if I'm honest, I think what should happen now is, just going off a little bit, I think the A's and the B's, or at least the A's, should run alongside Yes, the British Championship trials because for me, the best thing that we did is go to the one two fives with these at a fairly young age, and they could see and and it's there's no substitute for watching other riders and how it's how it's done. Exactly. And I'm hundred percent sure that that helped these two, you yeah. know, because it sub subconsciously they watch and learn and and. You know, you, you might not know it, but you are learning all the time when you're watching other riders who are better than you. And, and for these two lads in the one, two, five to ride against the expert class, who were, at that time there were some cracking riders in it as well. You know, okay. um, it really helps. So I, I think that the British Championship, if 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 the A's in the youth, at least the A's in the youth, yeah, uh, and, and maybe even the B's could ride alongside. You know, like have an A and B Championship riding the expert course. Same as the one two fives, or make that one two five class the A class. I don't know. I don't, it needs thinking about. But I'm, I, yeah. For me, that's what it wants. Right? That's my. Yeah, that's no, my... I, I would, I would hundred percent agree with you on that one. I think, I think the the yeah. youth, the youth championship as it sits at the moment, you, you're not. I don't think you're devaluing it by taking the youth A out of that. I think what you're making is you're making a, a a really good feeder series in yes, that exactly. one two five championship. That's the for the for the youth riders. That's the goal. And then from yeah, there, well, yeah. you're on your own sort of thing. After that, it depends what, how you, how how yeah. you fare, what work, what effort you put in, what talent level you're at. You know, it all yeah. it it yeah. it, it, it either goes or it doesn't. The D's, the C small wheel, the C big wheel, and maybe even the B's. Yeah. That's a great little. That would be a great little championship on its own in the British yeah. Championship. But for me, the A's definitely want pulling more yes. in towards the adult yeah. championship. Just yeah, and it also. It gives them a taste of that bigger stage as well. I know it sounds silly, but you, you yeah. need that as well, you know. Yeah, spectators, all that, the time yeah. pressure, everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. that's our thought. Even yeah. see how like the the adults 
because the adult trials are completely different to the kids. And even if you're an A, to see how even like the top class to ride with the top class and see how they do their trial, how they warm up, how yeah. they yeah. How they walk the sections before, how they do everything, really. Yeah, yeah, even um, yeah, exactly. Walking right. the sections, what they're looking for is completely different. You know, you haven't got your dad standing beside you telling you where to put the wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, yeah. in that case, to have. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, bad example, bad example. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so right, moving on. So fair to say, pretty successful youth career. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say. Yeah, look, look, yeah. Back, not this point. Looking back, you'd be happy enough with that. Um, so moving in 2022, obviously both lads riding in the trial three world championship. Obviously, yeah. Harry ultimately coming out on top of that, which incidentally, first yeah. world champion we've had on on the channel. So thank you for thank you for being you've here and doing that. You've had that. You've had that dance. Oh, that dance. Sorry. Fuck me, yeah, you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, year before me, year before, year before I'm, Harry. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Oh no, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't care. I'll leave it in. Doesn't matter. Sorry, Jack. I apologize. <laughs> I should have mentioned that. Um, yeah. right. Okay. Start that again. Um, so pretty good season. Obviously, Harry winning, and both of them sharing podiums. Yes, that yeah, was a yeah. special day. Yeah. 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 And that must good. have been. I mean, like other. I don't think the Jalabert brothers have been on a podium together. Maybe in a Spanish That's what we're perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that was it. The um, It's happened before where brothers have been on the podium, but not in the same class. Not in the same class. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't... Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure the... the um, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that it hasn't happened where they're in the same Jack class. Jack and Dan. And one and two. Jack and Dan. Please. I think they were a different class. I think, I'm sure Dan was trial two and maybe Jack was one, two, five. Maybe. But I, yes. I'm, I, I don't know. Um, I think Jilla Burt's never. Like Jilla never. Yeah. And me and Ben definitely never. Did. No. <laughs> so when you, I suppose, <laughs> when when you started out on that 2022 season, then what was the, what was the goal? What was the sort of target for for that year? Or was it just right? I think we can we can have this. For me, this is this is for yeah, us. Yeah. For me, for me going into World Championships last year, there was one thing I wanted to do and. That was to win the world championship. I had that only that set on my mind. The same with the European as well. Like it was my first year in the top class in the European championship and the British. And the British. Yeah, it was my first year in the trial two in the British. Um, I didn't get that one, but like I said, the start of the year, it's the same every year. Everyone says, Oh, well, what are you expecting? Like, it'd be nice to get in the top five, top 10, but ultimately, I want to win and yeah. I go into every championship. It might sound weird, but I go into every championship I want to do and I have one thing on my mind that's to win. Yeah. Um, the same last year, the European and the British and the world. It was exactly the same. It if, we're, if we're hundred percent honest, Russ, twenty twenty one, Harry lost out. Obviously, yeah. Jeff won. It was fantastic. Great ride. Great ride towards the end as well. Held his nerve. Held the yeah. pressure. Really strong riding at the end. So we knew Jack would then go to trial two, and we didn't want to get. If I'm honest, we didn't want to get left behind, and we wanted to go trial two. Then we had a discussion with Donato Miglio and Vita and Lapo and also John Lampkin and and also Doug. And they said, don't be afraid of still riding the trial 125 class or trial three because with the target on your back, it adds extra pressure and you've got to learn to handle that pressure as well. So, and looking back... It was probably one of the It was the best thing we've, we've, we've done. You know, we, I, I, I'm not afraid to say I was I was desperately wanting to go to trial two with Harry and let George do the trial three. But looking back, I think it was the best decision we made. Um, yeah. It, you know, yeah. It quite a bit, didn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And George got some cracking results in the end as well. Yeah. 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 To be fair, um, my goal was, well, that class was the only one that me and Harry were together. So I wanted to beat him win one, but I never <laughs> yeah. got that one. No, no. So I'll we'll have to wait till another one. <laughs> couple of seconds, though. Yeah. yeah. To beat David Fabian and, and, and YB was even still... Galloway that year. Uh, and even Jamie as well, because Jamie put some cracking rides in the as start well. As well, as well yeah, yeah. Andorra, he rode well, didn't he? He rode well. Uh, you know, he seemed uh, to like Andorra. 
Jamie. He um, does. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. It's, it's like you couldn't get much further removed from where he's For a Scott, you couldn't get away. You couldn't be any far removed from a Scott, could it now? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, bit of a random one, that. So then That's British cool. Championship 22. Um, trial 125. Or trial yeah, George. George, yeah. yeah. Trial two, and, and I, was, I was in the trial two, yeah, yeah. And yeah, no, it was, it was good that to be fair for me with uh, riding with you and Robert that yeah. year. Yeah, because uh, I was going to say you and great. Robert. Yeah, obviously I didn't have a great first round at Hookwood. I think I was fifth, I think. Yeah, I think so. But ever since then, me and you have swapped first and second in every round. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, no, right. It, it was it a was really good. good, really good battle for for me and well for for you yeah. as well. But for me, it was really good to ride it. Good to watch and learn from you as well. Wasn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Because he ain't your typical rider, but he, he honestly, like, he's, he's so good. He's he so good to watch he is as a good well. Rider, isn't he? He learns so. Good. Yeah, yeah. He can find grip where there is none. Oh, it's, he's unbelievable. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> really good rider. So, and then you did the one, two, five class, didn't you? Yeah, that was in class as well, to be fair. Yeah. Um, however, I found that I could beat Jamie in the British, but then we used to go away, didn't we? Yeah. At the start yeah, he'd ride really well. And then Jamie would ride really well and he'd, he'd have me. So, yeah. Um, a bit good about that, but it was still good to have that because it was still a good class. Well, it still is, but I think Jamie, Alfie was there. Yeah. yeah. And there was a few, still a few good riders, which is good. Yeah. And what was nice actually was. Dan Thorpe, he's your statistics man. Statistics man. <laughs> Stats man. Yeah, that's he, it. He, and I think Dan had been keeping a bit of an eye on it throughout the, the championship and came up to George at the end and just shook his hand and said, if you would have ridden in the expert class this year with your results in the 125, you'd have still, you'd have won that hands down as well, the expert class as well. So even Dan, and that, that was nice of Dan to come yeah. and say that to you. Yeah, for even to Oh, it must take for ages. him to work, yeah. work it out as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair play, fair play. Yeah. So then, moving on to moving on to this year, um, obviously, Harry, you moved up the trial to World Championship, trial GB class in the British Championship. Yeah. Um, George, you've you've stayed in the trial three class in the World Championship, but you've moved up in the trial two in the British Championship, which is going reasonably successfully for you, I think it's probably fair to say. Yeah, reasonable to be fair, yeah. No, that was another right. good decision to be fair, to move up into the trial too. Um, definitely learned a lot after Hookwoods. Yeah. I was eighth, really on the back foot and then the rest of the rounds have ridden really well to be fair. Um, you still yeah, have to use your 125 though, don't Yeah, you? still have to use the 125, which yeah. I don't mind. I get on quite well with the 125. Um, but yeah, yeah, the the season's been pretty good as well. I like the rounds as well. Yeah, I mean, you, you've been on the podium in nine out of the ten rounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in yeah. the world championship. Oh, in the world, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I'm I'm crossing over there, but um, and you've won yeah. five of them. So, I mean, that's that's a pretty yeah, a pretty yeah. Good yeah. average. Yeah. yeah, um, same again at the start of the year, the fifth as well. So. I still had a bit of work to do there as well. Yeah. And then Portugal and San Marino went really well, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, I think I was on four wins in a row. Yeah, double wins. And then yeah. it's got me back up. So, yeah, that worked out well. Yeah, and you're, you're learning to deal with the pressure <clears throat> a bit as well because you can do it on a Saturday sometimes and then the pressure just does get you a little bit on yeah. the Sunday, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Um, I mean, I did, I did make a note of that Saturday and Sunday thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. What was it? I can't remember. I made a note of it. I can't find it now. I can't even read my own writing. It's desperate. Um, three on a Saturday and two on a Sunday. There you go. That's it. That's it. There you go. Why not just ask the guy who's done it? Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, Harry, your season then, you've, you've had a podium in Andorra, day one, was it? Yeah, day one in Andorra. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Is that? I mean, has that been you? I mean, obviously, you you you've just said you you go into most things just going right. I want to try and win this. Has yeah. has your season gone to plan, or have you found it maybe difficult to get used to that grade? Or sometimes when you step up, it's a bit. It takes a bit of time to get sort of bedded into something. Yeah. So obviously, 
when I say I'm, I want to win every class, it's not like I'm expecting to win every yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, no. Not, but if you know what I mean, there's a, there's a difference there. But um, it was still the same going into trial two. But obviously, I can't say I can't say to you honestly that I am 100% happy with what I've done this year in trial two because I'm, I'd be lying. Um, don't get me wrong, I've had a couple of good results, like a third, a fifth, a couple of sixth. But I just think it's such a hard class, is that trial two class. I mean, as you know, um, points are so, so vital. Like I was looking at results the other day, sort of, I think my first round, and I think I was eighth, or not the first or second in, in uh, Spain, I thought I was eighth. And I looked and I think, I can't remember who won, but Suarez was third. And then fourth man was on 22 and I was eighth also on 22. Yeah. Um, and it just shows. Like, yeah. and it comes down to time in the World Championship. Yeah. Which I don't I've lost out a couple. No. No. We, we, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it turns right. to but anyway, um, yeah. No, I'm, I've, I mean, I've been in points every round and, but I've definitely made some daft mistakes that I've gone back and thought, yeah, that wasn't like me riding. But I mean, it's going to happen. It's my first year, so. You're yeah. learning in that class as well, aren't you? Yeah, we've, we've We've had to try try to adjust his riding a little bit because Harry is, Harry just likes to, Harry wants to clean every single section. And even like when Donato and Miglio had a quick chat with us, even he said, sometimes take that one, you know, or take that two points, you know. And yeah. unfortunately, Harry. Yeah, we're, we're even trying to. You, you don't practice that way. You, try, you, but we're trying to make the best of those single marks instead of throwing them away. You know, um, and if you look at Harry's results, even at the wreath this weekend, he'll clean the majority of the sections and then just have the most silly five. And we need that's what we need to eliminate. And I think that's part of growing up a little bit. Yeah, and, yeah, you and could. learning how to ride a little bit different. You know, we've we've been with Jack Peace last couple of days and he, he really can make a dab count. He's fantastic at it, you know. Um, whereas Harry doesn't. Harry gets his foot down and panics and then that's it. We're on our ear. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's not even... <laughs> world round, like I took four flags on the last lap. Yeah. Which I had four fives on the last lap and every single one I took flags. Um, it was the same like like Dad said in the wreath. It's just something that I can get I could get away with last year in trial three, trial three because I I could just get away with it. But this year, obviously, trial two is such a big such a big class with so many good riders that I, you can't afford to. And like Dad saying in the wreath, like I'd, I'd take a flag on a corner on the easy sections. And I clean them. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> So of every every it's section, that I, I had three fives over the weekend at Reef, and every one of them sections, Dad clean, and that it just goes to show that how daft all my mistakes. How good are. his dad is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, his dad, it's, his dad, dad's dad's mistakes are. It's the old saying, isn't it? It's the old saying: form is temporary, class is permanent. Uh, that's, that's, the one, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Wow. Um, right. So. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Scottish Six Day. Um, obviously, first time this year on a one two five. Um, very, very good result. Um, you were saying about having fives and stuff like that. I mean, the one place you cannot afford to have a five is in Scotland. Um, I don't. I can't. What was your final score for the week? Twenty seven. Seven. Twenty seven. I know that I had a all week and sixteen on Friday. Yeah, that your early day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friday. Friday. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, going back to his five as well. On Monday in Scotland, Ben and I could not keep up with him. He just and when Harry's on a roll, he looks and rides sections and keeps going. And honestly, we couldn't keep up with him. So we get to Langnaha, and you know the first group at Langnaha mm -hmm. uh, on the Monday. I come out of the top of there, and Caroline Sandiford's there. And she's she's very excited, this Kaz, because uh, she loves trials and she's a good family friend. And she gets hold of me and she says, he's only on one. And I went, I know, where is he, Kaz? And she went, oh, he's gone ages ago. And I'm like, I know these last sections. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I tried to get to him. And by the time I parked my bike up, Harry's lining up to do the section. And I went, 
do you know what you're doing? Are you all right with it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I walked it. It's up these first three rocks. So, so you remember the section um, there? It was like over three yeah, roundish boulders. Triple steps. Right? Yeah, so he goes, it's just up those three sections, up these three rocks here. And I went, yes, that's great. But have you actually properly looked at it? Because you know, I've ridden this many a time and know how you should be done. No, 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 I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Fine. It was the worst ride I've seen him do all week, all that week. And it, that was just because it didn't just, we had loads of time, just didn't sit back a little bit and watch. There were sort of four or five good riders in front of us. Who was in front of us? Uh, all Wiggy. Wiggy. Like Wiggy and people like them. Yeah, Haslam. Haslam and all them. Like. And if you did watch how they did it, because Harry tried to do it back wheel, back wheel, back wheel, instead of just riding in and over, which is Scotland all over. Mm -hmm. And again, I cleaned that set. Oh, no, I didn't have a dab on the end cards. And Harry went and fired it and it just... That was again. That's youth, though, isn't it? And in exuberance. That's like Youthful he's exuberance. on a roll. He's happy. Yeah. He wanted to go, and and I didn't want to stop it. But yeah, I, you, know, you just. I just wished he had just sort of sat back a little bit and used that time. But yeah, I mean, I I started out quite well on Monday morning, and I was doing the same thing. I was yeah. I walked up the section, walked down the section, rode it on the next one. That was it, and I was riding quite yeah. well. Now, if it's any yeah. consolation, Harry, I five that section as well. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you feel loads yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like you say, once you get in like a little nice rhythm when you're walking and riding sections, it is, you know, like Harry, that's one thing that you struggle with, isn't it? You can Harry does if you see something, he wants to go and do it, don't you? Yeah. You yeah. know, which you know, yeah. we've got to yeah, sometimes it's all right, but others, other times it doesn't. It doesn't, it yeah. doesn't exactly work. Unless. Yeah, the, the the problem is when when you're at your level, studying a section makes a difference. When you're at my level, doesn't matter how often you look at it, you're still three in it. So <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just get in there. No, I don't. True. Yeah, that's that's the so. best. That's the best way. Right. Um. Right. We're getting through this quite well, actually. Um. So plans for twenty four then. I'm guessing what's going to happen. What's going to happen with you, George? What are you? What are you going to do? You can't do Scotland, unfortunately. I feel a bit sorry for you. Actually, you're going to have to wait. What another? Three years <laughs> I still got, got another I year after that. I know, cause it's another safe. It's another safe place in Scotland for me. <laughs> without him there. <laughs> yeah, you're safe for another couple of years. Um, yeah, another two years. No, year after that. No, you, you, no, can, you can ride, you can ride, it. ride in twenty five. Not year, year after. Oh, result. That's better. <laughs> twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Yeah. 25, yeah. That's not yeah, too bad. That might be. That's going to be. I want to try and do one with George as well. Yeah, oh, that'd be good. Do it all three, yeah. and that'd be. Yeah, that'd be yeah. a mega week. Um, and then I still got another year after that to wait for the Scott, which I'm looking forward to that as well. But no, I think the plan is to move up, hopefully to trial GP in the British. Um, that's if I can finish the trial two off this year. Um. Which, to be fair, I'm looking looking forward to because, and I look up and hopefully I can ride a I can ride a bigger bike next year, seeing as I'm probably 16. 16. 16 yeah. Um, but then the plan is to stay in trial three for another year in the world rounds. Um, which... George is contracted with Beta to ride trial three for two years. Right. We've got to have a a talk with Donato. At the end of the year, but we we'll see. I think I think he wants to. I think Harry's George is quite quite happy. Yeah, which I don't it. mind to be fair, because I've watched Harry watch how what Harry's done, and he moved up at the same age that yeah. I'll be in one of the years Next time. Year, yeah, which I think is a good idea, seeing as I'm not fully grown yet, and it's a big <laughs> man's class. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's a good good decision to be fair, but we'll see. Trial I GP think... in the British, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well. I think you'll I think you'll embarrass a few people. Um and I suppose do you, do you still you, you're allowed to ride what is it two or can maybe can you go to a three hundred then, can you? Or is it two fifty or yeah, but I think yeah, I'd, you can do. I'd rather choose to stick to a two fifty. Um I think it makes the switch from the one two five to the yeah. two fifty a lot easier to ride. Yeah. And especially with moving from them two bikes. And to be fair, with the, the beta engines that nice that I'd I'd like to ride a two fifty. To be fair, um, George has got a two fifty at the moment, just for practice. Uh, for practice, uh, something that the factory have built for him, and it's a lovely, a lovely machine. Uh, and like George has just said, the switch from two fifty to one two five is 
will be a little bit easier than yeah. going from 300 to 25. So. Yeah, yeah. So that's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and then what about you, Harry? What are you... Another year in travel uh, world round? Yeah, exactly the same as this year. Um, same in the British, same in the world rounds. Scotland again on the 125, uh, which to me, I, honestly, this year riding the 125 was... It was absolutely perfect. The best bike for it. I honestly believed. Well, no, not the best bike for it, but there was. I I was at no disadvantage. Definitely riding that one two five this year around Scottish. Yeah. Uh, and then Scott trial. I'm doing the Scott trial this year, but obviously next year as well. So yeah, uh, yeah first year. Excellent. Okay, so we covered trials for 2024. What about sort of career plans beyond that, or is that is that still yeah. up in the air or or what's what's no, 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 we've a fairly good idea, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, well it's yeah. Yeah, definitely. We've got goals and plans, definitely, that we've set not set, but looking towards, definitely. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what can you yeah. what can you tell us about that or is that all no no. Um I don't know. So obviously the goal is to win to be not Tony Bell and win world title at the top trial GP level um, in the next sort of couple of three years I want to win trial two hopefully hopefully go in I want to be in basically I want to be in trial GP class as soon as I possibly can because I feel that it's it's definitely something I want to do and um, it's the end goal yeah it's the end goal isn't it because yeah it's the end goal and, and, and everything that Emma and I have done is, is geared towards making it as easy as possible for the boys. Uh, I, I, we want them to make this a living. Hopefully, if there's still if there's still money enough money in the sport to to make it a living, then that's what we're, that's our ultimate aim. But, you know, you're a long time working, and it is still work. But <laughs> Emma and I, just, yeah, you know, it's still work, but it's yep. different work. It's nice work, if you like. Um, yep. So, <clears throat> not just. What but I love the spot as well. To yeah, be fair. you do. You love it, though. Yeah. So, I mean, um, well, you're not. School. You're not going to put in. You're not going to put in that effort if you don't. You know, you, you need to have that effort, that the, the motivation, yeah. um, to, to be able to put in that time and that effort, the commitments, the travel, everything. I mean, it yeah. sounds like a glamorous lifestyle. It is not. It's yeah. hard work at times. I know that a lot of people maybe don't realize that, but yeah, I I know where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. I see. It is. It's graft. If you if you want to, you know, it's still graft, but there's worse things to graft that, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, like Emma and I, you know, you, even even down to what Emma does behind the scenes, you know, yeah, she puts a hell of a lot into this as well, you know, and everything that we she do. Always has one as well. And she always yeah, has. You know, Emma, Emma's, Emma's probably one hundred and ten percent committed. To this job probably as, as much as me as you yeah. 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 And, and without that you you know we would really struggle because as much as i do all of the other sort of like the minding and prepping the bikes or driving them over emma does everything else she's all the admin she does everything she's really good at that so um you know it's not just a three-man team it's a four-man team right. and yeah it almost and i hate to compare us but you know i remember me and from martin and Aunt isabel you know they were you know, you just got to. I admire what they did, and I thought what they did was absolutely amazing. You know, I'm, and I'm not looking to emulate them, but that is something that you know I do look at and think if I can do, you know, seventy percent of what they did, yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. be happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pretty good model to follow. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was it was pretty successful. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So then, George, obviously, you're going to be. Once Harry's world champion, then you're going to come along and knock him off. Well, <laughs> hopefully not. I think I'd like to. Hopefully not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I was just planning on doing it before him. Yeah, no, oh, that well. Hey, why? Before he gets to, before he gets comfy, I'd rather get there. <laughs> yeah, just sneak in in front of him there. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be the dream, to be fair. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm going to say one and two in the championship, but I, uh, don't ask me which way around. I'm not getting involved in that. I'll leave it at that. That'll yeah. do. That'll do. Yeah. Just swap it away every other year. Get anywhere near that, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say. 
Um, so, I mean, obviously, the other... I suppose this is this is maybe a difficult question. You've been down the hard enduro route, Dan. It's it, it's well named. It is hard enduro. Uh, is that an option if if maybe trials is not financially viable? I'm not saying from a, from I, a current point of view. I'm saying from a sort of financial point of view, if it isn't viable. See, for me, there is a, a massive myth about how much money there is in hard enduro, <laughs> and, uh, and honestly. I know there's not a lot of money in trials, but I think you, I think people are disillusioned with how much money they think there is in hard enduro. There yeah. isn't. There isn't. You know. All right. It's, it's the same. If you are a if you're a Tony Bow and Adam Ragger, you know, a Jamie, a Jamie Buster, Jaime Busto, you're earning good money. If you're a Billy Bob, a Johnny Walker, Colton Haker, let's say in America, you know. Tadi Blazuziak, you're earning good money. Them. Then below that five riders, I don't see him earning good money. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, Mario Roman and Wade maybe forgetting. But it's the same in trials. It's the same in hard enduro. And Ben and I only went to hard enduro because we stopped the trials and we did a couple of mountain bike events. We loved that. And then we went to a friend of ours, Martin Cravens, and, and we just went one year to Erzberg and you know, lucky enough for us, we finished it in a good position and, and we just fell in love with it. Again, like trials, we fell in love with hard enduro. It wasn't it wasn't a career choice. It wasn't something that we thought we'll earn money at. Yeah, it's not something you looked at trials and went, we're not earning, We're not earning money. money. Well, let's go there. We're, we're going to start earning else. money. Yeah. Yeah, it's because we fell in love with another sport. Yeah. And, you know, you talk to Jack Price and ask him how much money he's earning out of hard enduro. <laughs> Ask Dan how much money he's earning out of our Jinjaro, and they'll tell you they'll tell you different stories. Yeah, um, I think, as you say, it's a popular misconception. It is, and I just think that when people have done with trials and feel they are not, and I and I, I hate to say it, but feel they're not getting any further in the trials career, it's something to fall on and have a go at, and and great, and it, and but Billy Bolts are very rare. Johnny Walkers are very rare. You know, these people are very rare to you know they yeah. Really fit in, and he's an incredible talent on a an enduro bike. Um, and same with Johnny. Johnny was a very good trials rider, and I remember him coming down to Fat Cat and doing the three, two, one down there with us, and we all went, "Wow, who's this kid?" You know, he was brilliant. But the the very few fit that mold. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you will earn the money. So we've got to give. We're, we're one hundred and ten percent committed with trials, and we have to yeah. continue with that. For as long as possible, and keep pushing it. You know, we're we're not going to get to 21, 22 years old and go. It's not working because you're not dead at twenty two years old in trials. You've no, got a long way to go. Yeah. Um, and it's what I think it's what these two love. You know, if they wanted to go, if they really wanted to do hard enduro, fine. I ain't going to stand in the way. But I don't see him at the moment shouting and saying, "I want an enduro." No, nah, it's not. It's not even something that's crossed my mind. No. Like I've never even thought about it. Something I can't see myself thinking about in the next sort of what my seven, ten years, even. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in a long time, in a long time, and I want to. If I had the choice, someone said to me, "Trials or enduro?" It'd always be trials. It's just something I've always done, something I've always loved, and I want to make trials my career. Um. Yeah, and it's something. It's that's exactly, exactly it. You, George? And I, would, I also wouldn't say that enjoy enjoy would be the thing that I would say fall on, to be fair. Um, I think there's other sports that I enjoy more. Um, well, you're pretty the, good on a mountain bike. Yeah, well, so even that. We yeah, could have gone yeah. down that route, you know. Um, I like yeah. skiing. Skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I actually, I, I had that in the in the notes here for the end. Yeah, you're annoyingly bloody good on skis as well. <laughs> yeah, so to be fair... If I was to fall back, then I probably wouldn't even look at enjoy as the first thing. I'd yeah, probably look at a sport that I enjoy. And that I don't would it be downhill mountain bike or uh probably downhill, yeah. But yeah, I think it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to say with enjoy when, when, when you're so focused not really on trials. Enjoy, right? yeah. I think that's it. I think that their their main main and end goal is trials, and they are so focused on that. You know, yeah, we still have mountain bikes and we still go skiing because, but just because we love. Ski, you you're the same. You know you know what the skiing holidays are like. They're just amazing, aren't they? Yeah, and, much love it. and we are still lucky enough to be able to do it. We'll continue doing it. Um, yeah. 
yeah, the, the, the end, the, fo- the main focus for you, lads, is 100% plan. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Well, I need to, get, need to get another skiing trip. I was actually going to go, I was going to go to um, Salbach, Hinterglem at the end of the season. Uh, it was the, it would have been the closing party in the in the goat stall. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you won't come out alive. <laughs> so, yeah, thankfully, we, we held off and held off. It was getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Yeah. We held off and held off. And then there was no availability. And I was like, whoa, dodged a bullet there. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, though, Tony N has been one of our um, one of our one of our first sponsors. Um, From the start. There's, there's a few. There's, there's a few originals, and we still have them. And Tony N is one of them. Danny Cockshot, Nigel Crowther, Knox Sawmills, um, and Riverside Quarry. That you know, they're they're the originals. They're the, they're the ones who've started when. When the boys were sort of, you know, A, B, C, or even D class, D class, yeah, yeah, even yeah. D class. I think, I think actually Tony was one of the best. But if you ever do get an opportunity to go to Salbach into Glen, where Tony N lives, and yeah. and, the, and the goat stall, not just for the goat stall, but for the whole, it's amazing. It's yeah. a lovely. The infrastructure is amazing. It's typically Austrian, you know. It's just the most beautiful place, and you know, for us that well, you know, skiing, it's they're just fabulous places, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. no, the the. If if it was a choice between um if I could only have one holiday a year and it was a choice between a winter and a summer it'd be a winter every time yeah, yeah. we're the same love yeah. Emma's in the background shaking her head but no she <laughs> yeah what's wrong with skiing <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. what is wrong with skiing you have to go skiing Brilliant. it, it is, is a marmite best. holiday though I will say that it is a marmite you either love it or you hate it yeah yeah um, there's that there's not very much in between um I love that snowboard as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I had I had I had a I had a few sort of little quick fire questions um lined up there. Um so just just shout out an answer. Just shout out an answer. Doesn't matter who it is, Dan, Harry, George, whoever, shout it out. Um who is the best minder? <laughs> oh oh. <laughs> wow, Dad and Brad. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Dad, because honestly. He's so knowledgeable. Um, and I think me and dad as a mind, I know you wanted to put fire answers and I'm going to go. Oh, that's okay. Me. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Fire on. Fire I on. I mean, my dad as a mind, uh, honestly, like, he's with, I wouldn't say we are the same as any father son. Like, during the trials, I know how hard it is as a dad wanting to, because everything's, you want your son to do everything absolutely perfect. Not perfect, but, but we sort of, we become we become more rider minder than we do father son in the trials, which is which you have to do, you have to do. And I've only ever had dad, and honestly, I no complaints. He did miss me today though, and I broke the front brake lever. But I mean, apart from that, I can't complain. <laughs> and I think also Ben, Uncle Ben, and Brad yeah. work fantastic with George, both of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because Ben and Brad are very similar as well. They're very grounded, very laid back. Quite easy going. They know what they're doing. But they it? also know what they're doing. Whereas I'm a little bit more shouty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But but that works with George, you see. Uh George is George likes. So Ben and Brad work great for George, you know. Um I think I can relate to them the most as well, to be fair. Yeah. Especially Brad as well. Um yeah. he's also like another father as well. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's, he's just very good. Very calm, very grounded, very knowledgeable again he's done a lot you know yeah chat. yeah well he's been there and done it hasn't he really ben, or, yeah, or, you know, um, i'm similar with ben in the british ben's great for the jordan yeah yeah right. that's a quick fire answer. that's yeah. a quick fire answer that one <laughs> yeah. right, okay. all, all in all russ it just comes down to i'm the best minder yeah there you <laughs> yeah. go perfect if we're taking it from this episode so. that's a positive yeah <laughs> <laughs> right okay then what's your favorite food Let's go for uh, calamari seafood lasagna. Love it, love uh, it. Yeah, lasagna. Go with that. Um, <laughs> you've been to plenty of countries. What's your favorite country? Italy, Italy, hands down. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. 100% agree with that one. Uh, yeah. Bo or Busto? See, ow. Oh. Right, um, obviously, Bo's Tony Bo. But I like what Buster's doing. Yeah. I'm, also, I'm a big fan of what Buster's doing. George. Yeah. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Tony. 
Um, did you notice I, I watched the highlights from uh what was it Sestriere round there and okay Jaime didn't have a particularly good round but there was one thing that he did oh I know where you're going up on, <laughs> yeah. up on the front wheel it was real proper bicycle style and I, mean, I just thought when he when he gets that all together yeah oh he's gonna be some, yeah he's, he's gonna be unstoppable for a while yeah. um it was it was impressive anyway right we'll carry on Hamilton or Verstappen Verstappen <sighs> go away I'm afraid oh, no way no way oh. right I'll hit that first <laughs> quick fire what's the first one that comes to your head yeah, yeah. quick fire uh, the first one that comes to my head would be um... Alan Prost Verstappen sorry really yeah, yeah. Verstappen I'm He's shocked at the moment. Hamilton's whinging I remember a time when he won seven world championships in a row and nobody complained about his car yeah, well, a whole other conversation. That's another episode. It is, isn't it? It, it is. is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, just, Russ, I didn't like Verstappen. Yeah. But I've watched him just recently. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. It's not possible to warm no. to him. Not warm to him, but I've just, I just, I've seen a different side. Anyway. You see, <laughs> well, for, for me, right, I was never particularly a Lewis Hamilton fan until no. until 2021 and that whole thing yeah. with the championship. Was I get that yeah, 100%. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forgive the FIA for that. That was just no, no, that was fast. You're right there. That was just ridiculous. Anyway, right, we're digressing. Um, skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding, skiing. Skiing. it has to be skiing. All yeah. that sideways. What's that sideways nonsense? Uh, no, that's it's not skiing. Yeah, it's not skating. If you were meant to go sideways, your eyes would be there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> See, the thing is. <laughs> A snowboarder can also water ski and wakeboard. Well, you can't exactly do it better. Whereas a whereas skiers can't. <laughs> and that's okay. another conversation. <laughs> okay, all right. That's enough of that. Right. Um, thank you very much, guys. Uh, that was that was a really interesting little chat. I hope that, that comes across as well on the video. It, it came across really well in, in real time, so... Thank you very much for taking some time out of your busy schedule. I know you were out practicing today and this is probably the last thing you wanted to do, but um, much, much appreciated. Um, if you stay on, when I finish up here, actually, if you stay on, I want to get, the, you mentioned some sponsors there. It, I'll, I'll get the details off you afterwards. Um, but again, so that wraps up this episode. So thanks everybody for watching again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because if we get some more subscribers, we might be able to do a bit more with the channel. So that'd be really good. Thanks very much. See you next time.